Hey everybody, it's John from the Gamer Duel here. Today is a special day nonetheless as we are continuing our Pokemon Platinum Randomized Nuzlocke. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I am going to be a little bit quieter because uh, people are going to start to be going to bed here soon. And I want to make sure that they have that opportunity and that chance because it's not fair to like... At 11 o'clock at night be like... Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, so we had a death last episode. So a poor soul is literally dead. Um, so we have a team recap to do for you and it's gonna start out with Murr level 47 with the same moves Cheryl level 48 with her same moves Davy level 47 I figured since I had to train up a new mod I might as well train Davy up to the same level everybody else was with no new moves Shelly level 47 with no new moves Bulbous level 47 with no new moves and our new Pokemon is Dan the Raichu with Charge, Thunder Punch, Ice Beam, and Charge Beam. Ice Beam is a very good move for us as it allows us to kind of not worry too much about Dragon types, which is one of our main problems at the moment. But we also need to teach it something else because, well, we do. Um, and I don't really know what to teach it. Um, I don't know if we're more physically or for more physical or defense or uh, physical or special because the way Raichu works it looks like we are more physical oh, darn okay actually it's probably a better thing actually so we're gonna actually I really do think that's actually much better that we're more physical so I am gonna go ahead Ooh, wait oh hard swap's not what I'm thinking of D dance would be nice Lunar Dance, Flash, do, 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 do. Can we learn, um, I don't want to teach you Magnitude. What is your, what are you good against? You're good against Flying types, which we are, we already have very, very good amount of things for that. Um, Dragon types, I don't really know. Um, I mean, we would uh, having a, something that's good for steel types, like a sky uppercut, would be nice. Bite for psychic types. We've already got. Although that would be good for the ghost types that we have trouble um, with. Yeah, you know what? It's better. I didn't even think we would be able to learn it, so I'm glad we can. It's better than charge anyway. So Thunder Punch, Bite, Ice Beam, and yeah, it's a weird move set, but we'll take it. We'll we'll carry it on. And I know that we just used it and we can't use it ever again, but that's okay. So now we have to go ahead and go up to the new area, which is kind of nervy unnerving because it's a new spot, but it's also not. Also, what am I doing? I'm being dumb. That's what I'm doing. I need to. I should buy just so I can get out of the area very quickly. Whatever. I'm not worried actually. So I know we've gotten our encounter on Ravaged Path. That we already did. We are gonna go ahead and with our bag we have our pels. Oh, we also have the choice. We have a lot of new items, which is awesome, too. Repel, repel, repel. We have two of them, so we don't have a lot, but we have a decent enough where it could end up being pseudo-beneficial for us. I think... Oh, wait. We have to go to Mount Cornet. Not... I'm probably going the wrong way, but that's okay. I hope we're not going the wrong way, but we probably are. TM28 Revenge. Okay, that's actually a pretty good move. I do not mind that move. I just... Don't know. And it's going to say that our repel wore off. It's not going to ask us if we want another one. But we also should just... Go ahead. We have the pure incense or some form of incense which keeps wild Pokemon away if it's the first in our encounter or in our party. So we'll give Murr that 
and just keep Mur in the front so that we can hopefully keep wild Pokemon away much more than we do already. I don't know if we're going the right way, but we'll figure it out. And I also don't know if it's going to keep it away entirely. I don't think it will. But I feel like it'll keep it away enough to where it won't get kind of aggravating how many encounters that we run into. It does not look like this was the right way to go. So... A Chesto Berry. Okay. Here, let me just escape rope out of here. Unless I sold them. I totally could have sold them. No, okay. Because I knew we had three, so I figured we might as well use one there. Um, I think Mount Cornet's in a Turna, actually. So we can just fly there. And actually, before I do that, let's go to Selaceon. Yeah, let's go to Selaceon before I do that so that I can go ahead and get some more Moo Moo Milks for the cheap price that they're at. Because right, because some of our Pokemon can use them. So I figure, I figure if some of them can use them, might as well buy another dozen because we're going to run low here soon. We have 209,000. Let's buy a dozen. It's, I think it's 6,000 is definitely worth. And then we're going to go back and fly to Eterna. So we can get into Mount Coronet and do everything we need there. Because that's because we have to go into Mount Coronet. That's for sure, and I think if we can get into there, then we won't have much to worry about on the other and on the other side of things. Because, well, oh, have we? We definitely have gone in Mount Cornet before. I'm surprised we have not fought you yet. <laughs> Have we really not? We've gone into Mount Cornet, 100%. Like, I know we've gone into Mount Cornet before and gotten an encounter, so I must have just avoided him. Because I know for a dead fact that we've done that. We're going to just go into Dan, get Dan some experience. Why not? Oh, perfect. That was actually really perfect for us. This Blastoise is level 21, which is really not that scary for us, but whatever, right? Thunder Punch! Thunder Punch! It's gonna oh hell because, well, it's Thunder Punch. But, we're fine. So, nine, look at that experience! 945! Like, that's a lot of experience for... Anyway. Yeah, we've definitely been in Mount Cornet. We just must not have gone in from this side. We must have just gone in from a different angle. Because I 100% recognize going in this way. So, a Revival Herb, which is just a meh item. Oh, I need to teach Pokemon Strength. And, well, we have to wait because, uh... Raticate just decided it wanted to fight us now. But, you know what? That encounter rate was much lower, so I'm okay. That, like, it doesn't bother me that because of how low that encounter rate was. So, we're gonna steel wing this thing, hopefully, get this thing out of here. Anyway, I hope you guys' day has been going well. Um, I think that this episode is the last day that I'll be in Mexico. So, we're finally. <laughs> we got a lot of recording done. Oh, I keep doing that. Bag. Who's gonna learn strength today, guys? I, I know, I know who I'm thinking of learning strength, but I don't know if they can. So, we'll find out who can learn strength. Perfect. Okay, that's who I kind of wanted to learn strength. Um, I mean, yeah, okay, wait. It's who I wanted to learn strength, but Gyro Ball is literally proven to be pointless. So, we're going to get rid of Gyro Ball. It, it has. It's proven itself to be... It's proven itself to be very pointless. And so, I don't want to use a pointless move. 
So in Mario, you can actually learn it. Are these encounter rates really going to be this high? Like, that's kind of annoying. I, I don't want to put repels on, but I might have to. If the encounter rate's going to be... Oh, that was all for TM34 rest! All for a pointless item. All for a pointless item. Hooray! Oh, is that the out exterior of Mount Cornette right there? Oh, there's Chairman here too. I feel like it's not though. I feel like it. Another token encounter. Yeah, because that's the other side I brought to 11. Yeah, this is. Unless I just found a way to go. I think I did. Hold up. I just think I found a way to go. I completely forgot this area, to, to be completely honest. So this might be an episode where we have a, like, a cut in the middle of the episode to where I figure out where I'm actually supposed to go. Hopefully not. Hopefully I'm just going the right way and we're good. Oh, good thing I have Deep Fog. I actually recall this. I recall like fog that you had to remove and yeah, this looks very familiar to me. A paralyzed heal, that's fine. Honestly, this does look kind of familiar. I need to get that item. Yay. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. See, look at the levels. Level different. Level 33 wild Pokemon. That looks so correct. It 100% looks correct. Ooh, Blizzard. That's going to hurt. Oh, it's really going to hurt if I get frozen. Oh, no. Mur, mur, mur. Do not die on me. That was a resisted move, and that did actually a decent amount of damage. I don't have a full restore. Just no crit and we're fine. Yeah, we're gonna have to see if we have a full restore because I don't want to die. I do not. Okay, we gotta. Well, might as well use Moomoo Milk then because I'm not losing my Mon today, guys. I'm not losing a Mon to the fact that I got frozen off a of Blizzard. And this thing is not missing. That was four for four. It's about to be five for five, but it's about to be out of blizzards too, which I think is even more scary to say, to be honest with you. Helping hand gravity blizzard. Weird move set, but we thought out luckily. And we're gonna o-code the Galele because it's nice to do that. So Glalie Faints, 881, which is a good amount of experience, actually. We could actually grind in these parts. And I might actually take myself up on that offer here. A Max Potion. Ooh, that's actually not a bad item to run across. Not a bad item at all to come across. Empoleon, or Primpilip. Ooh, that was bad. Primpilip at level 30, or 33, that's fine too. Yeah, like this area's got some decent Pokemon to grind up against if I need to. Hopefully I don't need to, but... If I ever do need it. A big mushroom. Okay, that's going to give me some money. Rock Smash to go over here because that's giving me nothing. Okay, so that was pointless. Is this? That looks like the area with the Feebas typically, but I don't remember. 
I may have to pull up a map of Mount Cornet just because I completely forgot. I forgot how this area works entirely. But I feel like maybe, I mean, like I said, I feel like I have a great potential of being in the right spot, but I could totally be in the exact wrong spot too. Uh, don't freeze me on another blizzard, okay? That's all I'm asking. Do not freeze me on a second blizzard. Yay! We didn't get frozen. And Galalee gives a good enough experience where I'm going to just keep fighting them. Because 881 experience for literally the easiest KO ever is worth it. Okay, hold up. Up here. Continuing on the, into Mount Cornet. Oh, wait, what's that? I just barely couldn't get out of a Suicune. Oh, okay. Kind of wish that 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 we're in a, that we were in a new area technically, but we're not. Old ant. Ooh, another. Uh, more fossils. Oh wait, I have a. T I've got a token encounter. Hold up. Oh, we made it out. <laughs> All right, so we have a 216 encounter. Do I call my token inside that area in Mount Karnak? Or do I just hope that that just wasn't the common encounter? Because I would love to catch a Suicune. Because I got the Helix Fossil. I got another one. Because I keep getting them. Ah, uh, such a tough choice. I'm gonna go down and get my Route 216 encounter because I can. My Route 216 encounter is a Lopany. You know what? I don't mind Lopany. I mean, it's not a normal. It can't be a normal fighting type, but I just I don't mind that Pokemon. I forgot my rule of if I'm going to catch a Pokemon to go into Davy first. That's okay. See, and we're getting higher in level too, so that makes it nicer because then I don't have to freak out about, oh no, are you too frail? Ooh, double team, uh oh. Luckily, you're a Lopany, and hopefully. I mean, you're probably. Oh, ooh, 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 I gotta watch out for the hail too. I do. I really have to watch out for that hail because that hail could end up killing the Lopany because I'm not paying attention. Oh, plus four evasiveness. I don't know if I can hit a Dark Void on over, or through plus four evasiveness, to be honest. I can barely hit 100% accurate moves through this evasion. I would imagine if hail would turn you into Ice type. That would make Color Change a much better um, ability than it actually than it is at the current moment. Because then you'd actually have a reason to go in, and then you don't take hail chip damage or any chip damage for that matter from those kind of methods. But this does not look like it has a good move set. If refresh is its only way to attempt to damage me, oh plus six evasion. Are you kidding me? Oh, ooh, I actually hit the dark void. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Severely increased our chances of catching that thing. Yeah, I'm thinking that I might call the token encounter there. Because I swear we've had, we haven't had an old amber before. I swear that that's new. We've been getting a lot of fossils in this LP. I'm not gonna lie. We've been getting a ton of fossils in this LP, which is great, but it's also terrible to keep track of. Because I think that's our fourth Helix fossil. And I'm like, that's way too many. One, two, three. We got it. Okay, Lopany has been caught. I'm doing it. We're naming it Playboy. Mm. 
Not many people are going to get the reference, but whatever. <laughs> Playboy the Lopany. Um, that we have, yeah, we have Murr in the front of the party. I'm going to heal Murr up with one of the Moo Moo Milks because, um, uh, what? Use on Murr. There we go. Okay. And also use on Davy. I'm hoping, like I said, I'm really, I, I'm really hoping. I mean, that Mount Cornet encounter is something that I'm really thinking that could be a good thing. What level are your Pokemon going to be? I'm a little nervous. 45. Okay, we are finally there. We're finally at the point where they're actually finally close to me as far as levels go. I'm going to U-turn. Oh, it missed the thunder. I'm glad I'm U-turning, though, because... But, yeah, they're finally... They're, they're, I mean, I... Yeah, I mean, look at that. Level 45. Like, this is what I expected going into this. I expected level 45s and, four, like, mid-40s because what we have... I mean, we're going into a area where the gym leader... We lived. That was quad effective from an electrode, and we lived. I totally thought we were about to lose Shelly there, and I was gonna be pissed. I called it last. I was like, I was gonna be like, I called it last episode. <laughs> Soul's death is gonna be the start of the demise. I mean, it wasn't really gonna be a start of demise, but it was gonna be a, a start of something. An Electivire. Okay, two Electro types. This one I know shouldn't have anything. But 46, I might have to. I truly might have to level up a little bit more. And last episode, I was like, oh, these levels are so easy. I mean, I know that I think the entry to this area is a lot harder than most entries. But yeah, level 46, special defense raise, which I don't really mind to say the least because we're hitting you with a physical move. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe we almost, I totally thought we were losing Shelly and I was going to be so mad. But anyway, we gotta, once we get to like snow point, then I'm going to fly back to Warburg. But that, that'll be a couple episodes. That won't be anytime soon. But... Okay, Electivire, please tell me that that was, like, one of the higher level people. Because that was nerve-wracking. I know this area is annoying, though. Oh, shoot. Oh, boy. We're in, a, we're in for it. Okay, hopefully, like I said, I think level 45 is going to be the common state, the common ground. Oh, what you have one Pokemon. Sunflora level 48. Oh, boy. Level 48. For the, so the people that have one Pokemon, they're at level 48. They're actually above my level. This is where... Okay, so we've definitely hit another level curve. 100%, because... I meant to not do what I just did, but anyway, we definitely hit another level curve because of what's happened. I mean, they were in the level 40s, like low 40s last episode. Now we've progressed, and now they're in the high 40s, and we know the gym leader is going to be level 51. We already got that covered, so that's why I'm like trying to be a little bit careful to not over level. But, I mean, the trainers in here, jeesh, level, like, they were on par now. But, that's fine, I'm not complaining, because this is what I want. I want to have, like, a tough battle. Now, not having an Ice-type in an area like this is going to suck. Oh my gosh. Oh, I just <laughs> bolted. Oh, is this a bed? I mean, it is a bed, but 
Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's perfect. Okay. So, I'm gonna have to go back and get some of those items, though. That's something I'm gonna have to go back to do, because if I don't do that, then I'm gonna end up messing myself up by not. So, Luxray is gonna be the Pokemon. Luxray is a good Pokemon. It's gonna intimidate me, though. Oh, it's, it's not. So, it's either got Rivalry or something else. Um, but again, this is a Pokemon that I'm gonna have to U-turn on, because I don't have much for it. Murr is gonna take a Ah, uh, that wasn't a crit. This is getting actually insane. So Murr will go back to me. Um, that slow U-turn is actually something I should be wary about, especially against electric types. I should might just pop the swap next time because that does a lot more than I was expecting to be. Like I said, to be frank, some of these things are doing a lot more than I was wanting slash expecting. You copycatted. Oh, what? You copycatted the U-turn. That's that's actually not a bad move on your part. But that should bring Shelly up to level 48. And if it doesn't, I'll be sad. But it makes sense. I mean, we split that experience, but. 934. Oh, that should be enough, right? Yeah, Shelly is level 48 as well. Perfect. I mean, it's awesome to see that we have another Pokemon that's up there in levels here. And I'm just going to take extreme advantage of this lodge because that's what it's here for. It's here for me to take advantage of it. Kind of. Not necessarily, but... So we don't have rock climb, so that's pointless. But one thing I can do... is go up here... get this item. It's a light clay. It's nothing of importance, apparently. That's fine. Fight her. Or not fight her. Get that item, which is a Soothe Bell. Okay, I definitely want to fight her to get the experience. Because now, now that I've gotten those two items, which they were actually kind of worth it items in my opinion but um okay so you have three mons a salamence Ooh. luckily i have a way to combat that now um like mer's got the resistance sure which is actually why i have slow u-turn Ooh, a track even better just don't get immobilized by love and that'll be the perfect scenario perfect events Yes, okay, so that's not gonna do much damage, but it's gonna do enough chip. It sh hopefully does enough chip where Dan can just come in here and Ice Beam in the hail, mind you, so this should buff its, um, buff its stats, or buff hail's, like, damage output. I don't think it does. I don't think that's how hail works. But an Ice Beam by a Raichu should do some damage. Okos, yes. Okay, it would have okoed, but that slow U turn really helped. Salamance faints, 10 27 for both parties. Hail's gonna continue to fall and unfortunately hit Raichu for more damage than I would like. I mean, it's only doing seven, but Soul Rock, no! I hate this sometimes. Sometimes this game actually pisses me off. That is, again, another episode where. They just throw out the Pokemon that literally died in the episode prior. And, oh, head smash? Oh, no. Yikes. Okay. I don't remember you learning how... Oh, wait, probably because I was like, uh, head smash. Hex to the no. This is probably why I don't remember it. Um, because I didn't want any recoil moves. Okay. Level 48 from Mer. Tail's gonna end up buffeting again, and Yuxi is the final mon. This is why we have Cheryl. <laughs> this is literally exactly what Cheryl is meant to destroy. So we'll let Cheryl destroy it. It's a Yuxi level 45. Look at that Yuxi. Okay, Shadow Punch. 
What is Psychic gonna do? It's gonna do a, a decent amount of damage, get a defense, a special, a spadef drop. This is not gonna Oko. Oh wow, that does absolutely nothing in comparison. So, a special defense drop, we should live a non critical hit Psychic. Okay, like I said, we lived a non crit Psychic. Yuxi also lives a non crit, but does does Yuxi have enough damage to die from the hail? No. But dies from the hail next turn. So we're gonna just go ahead and hyper potion up. And then, you know, do it. She'll do a chug of damage, but even a crit does not kill us. Speaking of a crit, oh my gosh, I am so glad I healed up because this woman just crit. I am so glad. Wait, you're not done? Okay, that I get affected by it. That's annoying. I get affected by hail after the battle's over too. That is actually quite aggravating for me so let's go ahead and heal up and I'm not gonna use my token on at Mount Cornet I've decided because I feel like if I do that then I'm just wasting it because I probably ain't gonna get something else and you know I'll be mad I won't be mad if I go in because I will I'll go in and be like what could I have gotten and now mind you next in, in the next episode I might be like actually we should get we should try and get that sweet good but more than likely I won't because that's kind of how I am. I'm pretty when I, I'm pretty set in my ways. When I say that something's gonna happen, I'm gonna try my best to make that and only that happen. Infernape, huh? Level 43. That's actually scary for Mur. And I'm actually gonna spot, just pop the swap immediately because I do not want Mur to get hit with a fire type move from an Infernape. But I think that after this battle, we can go straight. And then it's like the big blizzardy area, and I'll end the episode there. Woo, Willow! I'm lucky that that's what you decided you wanted to go for, because it could have been worse. But the hail damage plus willow damage is gonna slowly just eat away at Shelly. Yeah, definitely gonna eat away at Shelly. Oh my gosh. Force Palm will not kill. That was another crit. We are getting crit left and right. But Infernape is dead. Hail is going to continue to fall. Burn damage is also going to affect me still. A Cherim is next. Well, that's perfect. We're going to go into Cheryl. So we don't lose Shelly in this battle. Because we do not need that. And Air Slash will Oko this Cherim 100% of the time. Oh, well, I'm wrong. Assist. Oh, no. What are you going to pull out? Payday. Oh, Payday is a normal type move. I'm thinking Payback. I was like, wait, that's super effective. Why did that not hurt me? It's because it's the wrong move I was thinking of. Oh, I just missed. Okay, so you're only pulling Payday, which is just fine if you're only pulling that because that means that your other Mon only has non- or has moves that are unable to be pulled by assist. Or I just got lucky and you got payday twice. But I'm thinking it's just because payday is the only move that can be pulled. A Gengar. It's not, it can't be a Mega. Even still, though, I feel like I'd rather put Dan in than risk a super effective move from a Gengar. Plus, we have Bite, so... Okay, so it was going to hit me with the Cross Poison. 
it gets static. So now we can hit you with two bites in a row, which should knock you out. You're frail enough, I think it will. Oh yeah, 100%. And it can't destiny bond. So, bam. Okay, Gengar's down. 1831, look at that. I'm actually glad. Dan being on the squad is going to be a good thing. I feel like it's going to be a good thing. I mean, I was testing him out earlier, and he's not bad. He's not frail. He's not really... He doesn't show any big weaknesses. His only weakness is ground, which we have an immunity to. So if we see any ground type in general, we can go into one of many hard counters that we have on this team for them. So... I, like I said, I am not worried, but I understand people who would be worried. Oh no, it's a new route. Okay, 217. Oh no, wait, what? Hi, Maylene. Oh, John. Um, maybe you're on your way to Snowborn City. That's where I'm going too. If I use fly, I can get there instantly. But I'm walking for my training. I have no problem with this. I'm used to the cold, but I like to go barefoot and lightly dressed. Achoo! Oh, that was nothing. Really, I'm not cold at all. I'm going by. Take care. Huh? Was that just a cutscene to tell me? Oh, you know you, you know that fly's a thing. Anyway, we'll take down 217 in another episode. I feel like that is the best thing to do. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you are new because I would really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next episode when we pretty much go to get to the finale of Snow Point. And then we have a gym leader battle after that. Or we have Valor. I don't know. Or Valor. Team Valor. What? <laughs> uh, Team Galactic shenanigans, I think, maybe after that too. So we've got a couple things that we have going on in the next few episodes that are going to be really fun. So I hope you guys like it and enjoy. Love you guys all and peace.